this is, well, the Pilots Radio Part 2, and we realized that, again, we, like, we overloaded with educational videos. We're very sorry for that. Our next video will be a very nice, fun educational video, and we hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys. So... Let's open the page that we had done. If you guys didn't watch the Pirates video part one, do watch it. It's epic. Okay, y'all move side. Well, now we have, well, our book. And now we're gonna like find out where it is. we learned so where were we let's look at where were we okay, then why is a pirate was a afraid of barbarossas well if you guys don't know what barbarossas are barbarossas is another name for red beard so yeah who stole Spanish gold well we all did this we had done a lot but what we are looking at is could there be women pirates so we have to open that page okay almost all right done so here we were and we had done this so now we have to go to the next page hey what were the best ships Pirate ships had to be very fast. Many were small and easy to sail. Swap schooners. Well, were ships that had two masts. Corsairs sailed in galley. Well, doesn't it sound like galleries, guys? But it's gal galleries. <laughs> Ships that had oars as well as sails. What? The captain had a cabin in the stern. Stern means back of the ship. Treasure, gunpowder, and food were stored in the hold beneath the deck. If you guys don't know what's a deck, a deck is like the board where you like sail on the ship. Where did pirates sleep? Most pirates slept on the deck unless the weather was bad. Some put up hammocks below the deck in the hay, in the middle of the ship. Hey, do pirates play music like that? Or maybe that can be our pirate music. Did you guys hear that? Wow. Do pirates sing happy songs like this music? No, no, they don't. Okay, okay, okay. Music has stopped our pirate music. Middle of the ship. It was crammed, smelly, and noisy. This made some pirates ill. So did their food. They didn't eat enough fruits and vegetables. Oh, no. Let's have a look at this. Recycle. Pirates even sold their prisoners' clothes. So that's one of their prisoners, and that's a pirate, and he's stealing the clothes. <laughs> oh my! What would happen if someone took off their clothes? It would be so embarrassing, right guys? So, they usually sold them, but sometimes kept best items for themselves. Duh, of course they keep best items for themselves. So these are sails, bow in front. Here are the oars and the stern back. Water and stores middle. Okay, right. Look at the picture of the galley. Write a guided tour of the ship. Describe how the pirates lived on it too. 
you guys do that and send us a picture of it. We will see what is the best model of the ship and will be able to tell us more about pirates. Yes, guys. Okay. What did pirates eat? Pirates mostly ate dried biscuits. Where did I get biscuits from? And pickled meat when on board ship. They hunted fresh meat when they landed on island. They also collected fresh water and food. Pirate cooks often had only one arm or leg. They couldn't fight, so they cooked. Look at this. He doesn't have one arm. Oh, so sad. So he cannot fight, so he cooked. Um, the olden days were not good about pirates, weren't they? So sad losing an arm and a leg, but I guess pirates are like that. Oh, and hey guys, do you know the story of Peter Pan? Well, it was written in this book something. The captain over there is called as Captain Hook because he was the bad guy, like these guys right here. So, like whenever he went on sail on board, Peter Pan and the fairies and even the children were very good people. So Peter Pan hopped in and threw Captain Hook in the water and while well, a crocodile ate his hand. So he had to put, put a hook where the hand was eaten. That's why he was called Captain Hook. You guys tell us a, tell us this story on a video. Send it to us on our email address, dlikes9874 at gmail.com. Okay. Who was afraid of a flag? Well, guys, as you all know, if anyone sees a pirate flag, they get super scared because they're going to think about what and like what the pirate is going to do. So let's read it and I'm correct. Merchant seamen were terrified when they saw the flag of a pirate ship. Early flags were bright red. By the 70s, pirates flew black flags. Each pirate captain added his or her old symbol. Sometimes, this was the famous white skull at crossbow. Hey, guys, do you know what? Hey, Yelly, please come over here right now. Our friends don't understand what um, skull and crossbones means. Can you please come here and show us what's there on your well, or whatever it's called, covering your eye? Sure. Let me take your book away so, well, no, you can come. Look, guys. So this was mainly the symbol. Well, this is a sword. Well, the other sword is wiped off. And here are the one, whatever. And here is the skull. <laughs> yes, guys, so that is what they're talking about. Skull and crossbones. Now, let's go back to reading, shall we? <laughs> We're okay, nurse. Those containers were violent thieves. Some people thought they were heroes. But although New Roberts was a bouquet, his nickname was Black Bart. He was handsome and bold, yet he never drank anything stronger than tea. Oh. In the 1720s, he captured. 400 ships? What? Yelly? Am I dreaming 400 sh ships? Um, it is true. Uh, whatever. I better Google this. And sorry if anything happens to me. square kind of shape. Sorry, that happens when I touch the camera and whatever happens. So, sorry about that. 
It's a little bit blurry. Closer. Can you guys see anything? Well, I'll turn it to you guys. It's too blurry, guys. But now I don't think it's not. Duck. When pirates attacked a ship, they shot at the sailors working on the sails. They also shot the helm. Well, the steering area of the ship. the treasure. Sailors often hid their treasure. Pirates had to break down walls and doors to find it. They threatened their prisoners until they revealed the treasure. Pirates had frightening weapons such as knives, draggers, and pistols. Pistols are small guns, while draggers are very dangerous, guys. And knives, knives to kill people. But don't worry, guys. You guys only want Dick and Yelly. He's not a pirate, so he's not never gonna do that, right? You're honest, right, Yelly? Yeah. Okay. So here are the pirates searching for the treasure. Look, design your own pirate flag. Choose a bold color. You could draw, you could draw your own frightening symbol on it. You guys send us a picture of that too, okay? Uh, that's very good. What was the best treasure? Gold and silver, duh, they're the best treasures in the whole wide world. Was best pirate treasure. It could be gold or silver coins, plain bars, or made into fine ornaments. So cloth and hardwood such as ebony were also valuable. So was ivory. Well, but pirates were not so happy with cotton, coal, or iron. Ivory is something made out of an elephant's trunk. Yelly told that to me. I don't know everything, Yelly. I'll move the book, come and sit, and well, tell our friends what is ivory. Sure. Well, this book's heavy. It has all sorts of stuff in it. What is ivory, Yelly? Ivory is something made out of an elephant's trunk. So, it was used to make a nice jewels and now. Well, but it's banned now since we had to kill the elephants and cut out their trunks. So, that's why it's banned. It's harming the elephants. Oh, so it's banned. But, I really, I. I don't know what it's called. I cannot pronounce it at all. Ivory. But, like, it's banned. And it wasn't banned at those times. Uh -huh, now, bringing the book. All right. Bring in the book. Jump. Well, we already know that. Pirates and their stolen treasure. Spicy sand, spices from India and Sri Lanka. What is Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka was part of India when it, well, it slipped away. Oh. Were, val were very valuable, but they were difficult to sell. Pirates often dumped them overboard. These spices piled up on the beaches. Um, is India the best country ever? Stop it! All the countries are good. Hey, guys, don't think bad or good about your country. All are equal, but you should think good about your country, but not bad at all. Well, whatever, you're related to India. Uh huh, I am, so go India! Go United States of America. <laughs> What's the treasure?
treasure shared? Well, let's see. The captain was in charge of sharing out the treasure. Officers got more than ordinary sailors. The cook and the carpenter got less because they didn't fight. Captains tried to divide everything fairly. And happy pirates might attack the captain and take over the ship. Make, make a mini treasure chest. Take a small box and paint it to look like wood. Then fill it with painted cutout jewels. You do that too, guys. And we have a game for you. After you make that, send us a photo. And also, it'll be like a treasure hunt. Hide the treasure somewhere and make a map. So... For example, I hid the treasure in this corner of my house. So this is the house and I hid it over here. So I have to draw a map. So there will be dots like this and there will be items which you have to cross. And over here when it will be X max to cross. So where the treasure is hidden, over there will be an X. So if I hit it over here on the map, an X would be over here. So do that and well make maps like you have to join them first you need to make a map to go to the first clue write down a clue and the clue will lead you to the second clue and once you go on the other clues will bring you to the treasure and that will also complete the map isn't that a fun game that is indeed fun you guys try it at home okay Yes, guys, because of the pandemic times of coronavirus, even if you get cardboard boxes, you can't use it. So we can't show you it, sadly. <laughs> okay, guys, so we promised it will be a nice one educational video. And because most boys like pirates, this may be a fun educational video for them. But it's not, silly. But we're going to do something epic. We will make sure you guys enjoy it. Okay? Uh -huh. Where were all the jewels? Pirates stole jewels from ships all over the world. Diamonds came from Africa. Red rubies and blue sapphires came from... Well, what is that? Let's see. Burma. Green emeralds were mined in Colombia. Divers scooped up shiny pearls from the Persian group. Treasure chest. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Make one like that, guys. But don't worry, don't put real jewels, guys. No, no, no. Put cutout jewels. You can draw a jewel or you can print a jewel and cut it out and put it in like real jewels. We're warning you guys, please don't put real jewels. You're... Mom, I'm going to kill you for that. Hey, didn't we read this? And now, we didn't. Well, okay. Shipwreck was a pirate's, like, greatest fear. Look, what were pirates scared of? Shipwreck was a pirate's greatest fear. Turbo storms could blow up in the warm waters around the Caribbean, Indian Ocean, and the Far East in 1712. A storm blasted North Royal in Jamaica. Wind smashed ships into pieces. A telescope and a compass. And that's a map. Look, guys, can you see that X map? the cross also so do you see this cross this cross actually means the treasure is hidden over here so make a cross like that how did pirates find their way uh, I can tell that pirates used to use the sun and the stars to guide their way seems tomorrow. There were no, there were maps at that time, but do you know how we navigate right now? Oh, I know. We use a compass. Uh huh. But that times, well, there were compasses, but I don't know if um, we 
Telescopes, they have a telescope left. So there are decks. You can just look at the deck and whatever. Haha, <laughs> just read it. Pirates use the, the position of the sun and stars to guide them to the right direction. They also use the compass to help them. A telescope helps pirates to see landmarks and work at their position. Pirates use maps to find their real land. Round and round, Captain William Dampier was a brilliant navigator. This means he knew where he was going. In the 1680s, he sailed around the world three times. Oh, wow. Look at this. So cool, don't you think, guys? Okay, right. And you are captain of private ship. Write down all the jobs that are carried out on board every day. Do that as well, guys, and dress up as a pirate. And send us a photo on our email. And, but, again, ask your parents to do it for you. Don't do it by yourselves. You might miss up something. How did pirates save a sinking ship? Pirates tried to pump out water if the ship was leaking. Sometimes ships ran aground. This means they got stuck in shallow water. The pirates had to throw out anything heavy. This helped the ship to refloat. Sometimes they threw out food and barrels and cannons. That's kind of weird. Whoa! Don't, don't you think, guys? Okay, guys. Look, it's almost gonna end. There are only two pages left in this chapter, and the good news is quiz time. So, this is Captain Hook. So, he has a hook in his hand. We'll read this story later. And I do know, guys, Captain Hook is not real. It's just in a story called Peter Pan. You guys know Peter Pan? Dress up like one of them and send us a photo of any character you like. And dress up of the character you like. Well, yeah. And also, why don't you make, like, draw a picture of Captain Hook. And you can stick one small metal hook from a earring as his normal hook. But you have to use super glue, so ask your parents to stick it for you. You don't want your fingers sticking together, do you? Who is Long John Silver? Long John Silver is a one leg pirate. Oh no! One leg again? What is this? A horror movie? Stop saying horror movie? Yelly, but this is going crazy. Why right? one arm, one leg, two arms gone, blah, blah, blah. How much water like that? Fine. It's not a horror, horror story. But he isn't real. Oh, phew. He isn't real. Let's see. He appears in a book called Treasure Island. This adventure story is all about pirates and buried treasure. It was written by Robert Louis Stevenson in 1883. Long John Silver. He has a bird. Treasure. What? What? What is this? Yellow? This is a zombie? Zombies are not real. That may be a woman pirate who is poor. Or maybe just a poor sailor. Well, whatever. What a Captain Hook's hand. Captain Hook is a fierce pirate in a story called Peter Pan. It was written as a book and played by G. M. Barry in 1904. Peter Pan is the hero. He cut off Captain Hook's hand and fed it to a crocodile. 
That's why the captain needed a hook. So this is Captain Hook. This is the crocodile. Well, he ate it, and he has a hook. Okay, guys. So, well, we almost forgot this. The ancient pirate Blackbeard was a real and dangerous pirate. In 1798, his story was made into a ballad. What? A ballad? Why are you using a um, ballet? <laughs> That's so funny! Hey, <laughs> thank you for telling me. Did pirates sing? Gilbert and so so you win famous songwriters. They wrote a musical about pirates in 1879 called Pirates of Pensandic. But to the pirates were softies. They wouldn't steal from orphans, children who had no parents, so everyone pretended to be an orphan. Oh, so, so those pirates didn't steal from orphans, so everyone pretended that they didn't have any parents. That's kind of not good. Right. Write your own pirate story. Your pirates can be kind or cruel. They could be more than pirates. What would the treasure be like today? Okay, guys, so this is the end of the pirate lesson, but there's still something. Coolish time! Okay, so here are the answers. We're going to turn the book around and look at it. So, guys, take a few seconds to answer the question. We'll tell along with you. Do you remember what you read about pirates? So, these questions will help your memory. The pictures will help you. If you get stuck, read the page. Look at What is a pirate? Well, Okay, we'll take five seconds to answer it. Okay, so here are the pages, so we can go back to the page and look at it. Okay, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so a pirate is a person who is cruel or kind and steals treasure from sailors and attacks sailors and steals the item from the ship and whatever. Who was afraid of Barbarossa's? I don't know this one. Yali, could you remember? I'm not in this quiz time. Just watching. Fine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey guys, if you guys remember the answers, quickly send it to us on our email address, dlux1974 at gmail.com. Let's go back to this page. 321. Okay. Let's look at it. Every sailor was afraid of the two Barbarossa brothers. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so. Hey, what is all this? This is an explorer. Here we are. We, when we're pirates, are pirates. Pirates, um, oh, sorry. I had not said. Well, we don't have to always look at the other pages if we don't remember. Just send it to us. Uh -huh. All right. When we're pirates, not pirates. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so pirates like to call themselves free with cheers. Well, Queen Elizabeth won. Of England, um, I can't remember. Did sailors fight pirates? Um, sailors used to be hard. Oh, sorry, I keep on forgetting this concept. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 
Pirates were very hard with sailors, but some were dangerous, so pirates would just normally give up. What did pirates do with their money? They used to... Sorry, I keep on forgetting this concept. They used to sell stuff in be rich, I guess. I guess. Could women be pirates? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, pirates could do the I mean women could be pirates. Well okay. let's look at the next one. So the answers are upside down, so we're going to turn the book, and we're going to see the answers after we finish all the questions. Whose prisoner is a caterpillar? A Chinese leader with a... Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there was a Chinese great leader, and her prisoners, you see... Caterpillars in boiled rice. Oh. But you shouldn't say that. Where did pirates sleep? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, pirates used to sleep on the deck if not for the bad weather. If there was a bad weather, they used to sleep below in the modern deck. What did pirates eat? Pirates mostly ate prickle, <laughs> prickle meat and they used to eat fruits and vegetables. So the people who had one arm and one leg, they couldn't fight, so they used to cook. What did I count? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. If I didn't count, please tell me. Who was afraid of the fire? Steam it. Oh, shh. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Seamen okay. and merchants were very afraid when they saw the pirate flag. It used to be crossbones and, well, skulls, like on yogis, whatever. Okay. Now only three more questions left. Where were all the jewels? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, the, well, it used to be like wherever. I don't remember. How did pirates find pirates find their way? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So they used to use compasses. And, well, they used to use telescopes to see their landmarks, and they used to use maps. What a Captain Hook's hand, a crocodile. Okay, now we're turning the book to see all the answers. Okay, so the answers are mostly there. Can you guys see it? Okay, answers. Um, a person who steals from ships and ports to all the sailors. When they were pre white years. Four. Yes. Sailors fought hard against pirates. Five. They spent it in public houses. Six. Yes, they could. Well, oh, Shing Shi's prisoners. Oh, that was the name. Eight. On deck or below the deck in hammocks. Nine. Dry biscuits. Oh, dry biscuits and pickle meat. Ten. Merchant seamen. Eleven. Jewels came from all over the world. Twelve. With the compass, telescope, and map. Thirteen. A crocodile. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And this is a special thing for boys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to do what we told you to do if you can do it in this and we're trying really hard to 
put content for you in these times. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoyed this video. And we also hope you will enjoy the fun educational video that we're going to make in the evening. So don't miss that out, guys. Yes, guys, do not. And don't forget to send us all your answers that you thought. Don't copy from this, no. Okay. And whoever has the most writing, like, has the most symbol, a nice model of a ship, gives nice jobs to the captains, plays the game nicely, and all the other stuff, will be able to tell us more about pirates. Okay, guys, don't forget to send us pics. We're now getting videos and pics from you guys lately. Don't forget to do it on our email address. The link is in the description below. You'll see our email address. Don't forget, ask your parents to do it for you. Okay, guys? Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Me take the book. Let you come. Okay. Yelly, come on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, guys, and don't forget to send us videos, send us uh, the games, send us some photos, send us your model, and don't forget to share us your answers from our quiz time from the book. And don't forget to tell us the book's name. Here is the book's name. It will take you two seconds only to read it. Okay, guys, don't forget to tell us the name of it. Guys, don't forget to send us pics of everything we have told you to do. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you are interested in being a pirate and you're a girl, do wear a pirate costume and share us why you want to be a pirate when you're a woman. Guys, guys, bye. Don't forget to do all that we have told you to do if you can. Peace guys, bye. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna steal all your treasure. No, no. Ha <laughs> ha.